once again, good afternoon. I know it's a pre-launch session, so just like Naveed and Amit, Amit kept it very crisp, I'm going to do the same. So our story and journey is uh, very, very simple, but very interesting. This started pre-COVID, but became even more relevant post-COVID when schools uh, really struggled to collect their fees. And we thought that it was time that we really focused on one particular solution and went deep with that problem to find various points through which we could solve these issues, right? Both for the institution and for the parent fraternity. Then embarked on a quick research to find out where the problems were. And some of the things that really came up for us was the fact that payments in education were largely manual and cumbersome to manage. Accountants that we spoke to really found it difficult to reconcile fees at the end of the year. Payments were also coming in at the school. Some were also digital in nature, right? And fees was being paid at multiple frequencies. While the school had mandated annual fee payments or half yearly or quarterly, there were also parents who were forced to then pay monthly, also with the onset of uh, you know, COVID that we went through. So there is a mode of payment which are multiple with the uh, UPI coming in, just added to our convenience, but also added one more uh, you know, method of fee payment and added a level of uh, you know, reconciliation for the accountants to do at schools. Fees is also paid through modes, like I mentioned, cash, check, POS, bank transfer, payment links, and there's a process to collect these fees and there's a process to reconcile this as well. When we look at this, we realized with all this put in, with all the best technology given, today, as per our research, 56% parents pay on or before the due date or within that particular month, which means all the school leaders here would realize that there's still 44% that we have to collect fees from. And that's where our major time and focus and energies are put from an administrative perspective to ensure that our cash flows are maintained better, right? The second problem was short-term credit wasn't available for schools. Schools would want some sudden money to come in, unexpected expenses to cover for, maybe an event, could be a renovation, could be repairs, could be maybe a building of a new wing. But majority financial sector offerings were always long-term, project-based, and needed a collateral. When we asked institutions, they also said that they had to then route their fees through the bank, mark a lien with an FD, and then pick up money for whatever they wanted to do. And the end use was being monitored in most cases. So this gave us an idea to say, what can we do in this space, right? Why is it that financial services and education are still decades behind? We have multiple stakeholders. We have the parents who come up with their problems where they come and say that we didn't have the money. There was an emergency. We lost money. I'm jobless. Whatever be the case, the school didn't get paid. But your expenses are always fixed and monthly, right? So this we believe is because there's a lack of verticalization. While the word seems very fancy, it means very simply put, if there is mobility being answered with an Ola, all the problems related to mobility, Ola tries to fix, or Uber tries to fix. If it's about food delivery, then you have Swiggy and Zomato, right? If it's about groceries, you've got Grofers, you've got Big Basket and so on. If you actually step back and think, they are all successful applications only because they took one problem and went really deep in trying to solve it. And that's what brought us to launch Zenda. Zenda is a fintech app built for education. It takes into account every single nuance that a school requires in terms of collection of fees. It takes into account all the modes of payments, whether it's direct from a credit card, a debit card, a UPI payment that's made, or even if the parent needs to convert the fees into installments for their own ease, they can do it without any documentation. The biggest problem with the financial sector is the moment somebody wants financial help, we want them to prove their repayment capability. We ask them for papers, we ask them for ITRs, pay slips, and then it actually is a loan called credit. And loan somehow has a very unfortunate reality to it. It's a, it has negative connotation in education, so to say. But if we can offer easy to avail credit to our parents, then they have no reason to come back to us and give us a pushback that I can't afford it, right? So with that, we said enabling educational institutions to better manage their finances and helping families to pay fees. We started this off 
and we added products on the go as the schools required. So today, on one single app, like an Ola or an Uber called Zenda, parents can just come and pay their fees. They can avail of pay later, which is a fantastic solution where we work with over 21 financial institutions in the country, all the leading banks. And because consumers would have their accounts with the leading banks, they can just put their debit card or credit card number and convert their school fees into installments. The school is not liable, the beauty here is the school is not liable to cover up or pay in case the parent defaults because it's between the financial institution and the parent. But the school will receive its fees on time. Micropayments, another big need that we realized, especially in our UAE market where we launched in 2021, where there are a lot of smaller expenses that the school has to account for, picnics, for example. So there are the picnic has been decided, the excursion is out, the circulars have been sent, you've got to collect the consent form and the money. The schools struggle to manage that because it's across grades and across sections. So you get 30% students saying yes, consent forms are in, but the money doesn't match or vice versa. So there is something called micropayments to manage that. Auto pay. This is the most simplest form of payments that we're all used to because we do it for our Netflix account, we do it for our Airtel postpaid, right? Similarly, why not in education? My child is going to be at your school for a year. I know that for a fact that from April to next March, I'm liable to pay you fee. And if there is a schedule that the school has suggested, we just ask the parents and nudge them to set up an auto pay facility at the start of the year. Which means if your date of collection is the 10th of every quarter or 10th of every month in situations where fees is getting collected monthly, we can ensure and say with at least 85% or 90% certainty that the auto debit will work and the fee gets transferred directly from the student's uh, parent's account to the school's account. No third party intervention. So you will ensure that your fees, majority of it is collected on or before the due date. Right? That's what AutoPay does. Insta credit. This is our short term credit facility. Once we have the vision of the fees that's going to get collected for the year, you can actually avail of Insta credit, which allows the school to pick up a credit line or a term loan for that academic year. It need not be an FD, it need not be an OD, it need not be a complex mechanism. It's basically hedged to the fees that is yet to get collected for that year. And we would set up a clean credit line which you can use for the rainy day or for any projects that you would have where you would like to you know, expand your school, renovate it, get new smart classes, change the board, whatever expenses it might crop up during the year. Last but not the least, Zencare. All this will function only if the parent is happy. And why would the parent decide to do an auto pay for a school fee? Why would he take a loan? Or why would he do anything that we ask them to, right? Especially given the kind of scenarios and parents we have to handle, especially here in Delhi, where there's a lot of pushback that comes, is Zencare. At Zencare, we are putting together a host of rewards, incentives, and solutions for parents. When we interviewed parents, it's interesting. Parents of you know, young toddlers who are going to play school had no idea how they're going to pay for their senior secondary education or graduation. So Zencare is a section on the application where we are putting together systematic investment plans for parents so that they can foresee that expense and start planning early. One. Two, for any parent coming and availing a service with Zenda, we give them an opportunity to insure their year's annual fee for the next 10 years. So in the event of any unfortunate incident to the parent, the child's education is not hampered. And for the first year, it's actually free. So the parent gets a year of fee insurance absolutely free, right? Plus there are rewards worth about 3,000 to 5,000 rupees from all their favorite brands like Mintra, Amazon, Jabong, Ola, you name it. The idea is to make them feel special. Tell them you've done a good deed. You paid me on time. Here, you win a reward for yourself. So, all this put together, the magic here is that all of it, all the, all the uh, payments happen on one single seamless app, which works both on Android as well as uh, uh, iOS. So what are the benefits to the school? Very simple, collect your fees on time, clear your outstandings. A lot of schools where we started working came up with a book of outstandings from 21, 22, 22, 23, which they wanted cleared in 23, 24. 
So when we set up auto debits for them, we actually sat across to the school, planned the entire financials for the year, and the first debit on auto, auto pay was the last year's outstanding. And in cases where they were incapable of paying, we actually got them to avail of pay later, either through their own bank, which could be any of the private or nationalized banks in the country, or they could do it through a third party fintech, which works with Zender, right? Design custom payment plans. You know your school better, you know your expenses better. So you can decide how do you want to collect fees? Do you want to do annual? Do you want to leave an option of quarterly and monthly? So depending on the school's vision and your cash flows, we will manage that for you by allowing you to design your custom payment plans. Provide parents flexibility to avoid delays, very simple. You have pay now, you have pay later, you have auto pay, you choose. Whatever want you, you wish as a parent to use as a mode of payment as long as the fee gets collected. Get working capital, I've already covered that. Freedom from manual reconciliation. The beauty here and why accountants absolutely love us is because any and every action of fee collection that happens on Zenda gets recorded with weekly dashboards and at the end of the month, they just have to tally it with the bank statement to see which child has paid how much fees in this particular month. And this comes with a lot of analytics so you can actually plan for your future uh, months as well. And last but not the least, it integrates seamlessly with your existing school ERP. So right now, some of the leading ERPs that we work with like NTAP Infotech or EduNext Technologies or uh, My Class Board, they all have the Zenda plugin already available. So we just have to activate this, sit with the schools, understand their cash flows for the year and custom create plans. And our team will then sit across with parents, handhold them to set up auto pay if required. Telecall them if it's required. If it's required and the school for, deems it fit as a mechanism. But work on the parent fraternity. Give them that exclusivity. Make them feel special so that they conform to one of those three payment plans that the school wishes to bring them on. And this change is never immediate. For us, it's a 36-month journey. So essentially, we are looking at about three academic cycles before this gets completely automated. So this year is the second year for us in UAE, and we have seen about 37% adoption. First year, the first academic year in India, and we're getting close to about 28% adoption, which is a very good start. Because it's never easy to ask a parent to, you know, uh, automate their fees, fee payments. But are there benefits for them? Of course there are. Flexible payment plans, exciting rewards, free free insurance, no documentation credit. So our banking and Fintech partners, the, the deal that we've worked with them is the way it works is it's purely based on their civil credentials, Aadhaar confirmation, and a PAN card. Those are the three things they need. A mobile number and an Aadhaar card is enough for a parent to convert their fees into installments. Fee reminders, notifications, while the school is done enough to remind them, with Zenda, we manage that entire backend for you, right? Whether it's WhatsApp, whether it's SMS, whatever is approved by the school, and the school teams fit, we use that. WhatsApp support 24 bar 7 for the parent. They paid a fee, they can't find the receipt. They paid a fee, it's cut from their account, but it's not showing on the school's balance sheet or school's account. Where did this pay payment go? All that support we would provide to the parents of our partner schools. So the story so far, three countries, UAE, India, and Qatar, 300 plus institutions, 20% market share in the UAE, purely because we started there to experiment. It's a smaller market, but values, value of average fees is higher. 800 million institutional fees that we've already booked. So it's touching close to about a billion dollars very soon by the end of this uh, uh, academic session. I think we should be at about $1 billion of fees, which is uh, slated to flow through the uh, Zenda platform. 100,000 parents and an average rating on Play Store of 4.7. It's only because we are an app-based business, so it's important to just have that footnote there uh, put in. Some of our uh, early adopters of schools uh, at different locations, uh, Delhi is not added in this, unfortunately, but we've already have about eight, nine schools available in Delhi where auto pay is live, whereas we have about 87 schools in Delhi where through our ERP partners, pay now, pay later is already live on their uh, fee module. So collect your fees on time every time with Zenda. If you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer. Otherwise, it'd be great. Sir?
Hi, uh, I'm uh, Dr. Ebenezer from Hyderabad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me put a Hyderabad based scenario. Yes, sir. In South, they say, Aaj ka udhar kal, kal ka udhar parso. Parso ka to kabhi milega nahi. Forget about that. Absolutely. Fine. So, keeping that in view, does it require, does Zenda require that this entire school runs on Zenda platform or is it uh, a la carte kind like whoever is interested takes it or the entire school takes it? Very, very pertinent question. It depends on the school's vision, sir. If you make Zenda as the only way or to make, uh, you know, fee payments, reconciliation becomes easy. You have 100% control. Autopay, for, for example, that I showed is a first of its kind where you set it up as an auto debit. That can be the first step because the idea is first to get the non-digital parents to digital and get then regulate the digital parents to pay it on time. So this, when I mention custom plans, that's what we sit with a school like yours and decide basis your geography, the demographic profiling of the parents that you get, what is, is your digital payment today and how much more can we leverage out of the parents in terms of regularity. So this is completely customizable. Right? And as far as loans is concerned, we are not a lending company because this is a technology play. We work with ICICI, HDFC, Axis, all of them participate with us. We have companies like Early Salary, Avance Financials also participating here. So the credit underwriting, the decision to give a parent a loan and collections is completely the prerogative of the lending institution. We are only facilitating it for the parents at the school by saying, hey, you know what? This facility is available. So once the school deploys Zenda, Yes, sir. Like it depends on the parents' uh, I mean financial uh, rating or uh, their credibility that uh, either they get it or they don't. They do, right? correct. And it's a spot approval, spot rejection. Okay. Because it's against the mobile number and Sybil and other. So on the app, you will know, oops, I don't have an offer. I can't avail of this. So that is only the lending side. The simpler way when I show payment plans is that most schools, I can give you the example of Tatwa, like you would have seen yeah, Tatwa yeah. there. What has Tatwa done in Hyderabad? Tatwa says, if you want to pay the annual fee, pay it, I'll give you a discount, 5%. Yeah, option one. I had a discussion one. with Usha ma'am, so she yes. told me about it. Yeah. And the second, the second option is, if you want to pay in installments, whether it's 4, 6, 8 or 12, set it up as auto debit on Zenda. So that makes it simpler and you have better control to ensure that the money is coming. Fine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. That, that was a good question. question.